Madame, Monsieur, bonsoir et bienvenue au journal. C'est une édition bilingue sur Equinox Télévision. Il nous sommes à Good evening. Good evening to you, Florian Valon Dongo, to you, Televiewas. Good evening to you as well. In our headlines, Barrister Charles Chakunte Party is a new president of the Cameroon Bar Council, was elected this Sunday after a two-day conclave of College of uh, Lawyers. Plus, in this edition of the newscast, we'll be telling you how uh, Reverend Father uh, Jude Tadjos Lange remains missing after he was kidnapped yesterday by a known gunman. He was traveling to Munyenge, that is in the southwest region of Cameroon. Details and more in this newscast. Le salitergie. Innocent Azir, vous avez la seconde partie de ce journal. Exactly, Fabien Valon Dongo, once more. Good evening to you, the viewers. And thanks for joining us for the second segment of the newscast. We told you that uh, Charles Chaconte uh, Patier is a uh, new president of the Cameroon Bar Association. He was elected today by a College of Lawyers. It should be noted that uh, it comes after the incumbent uh, president of the Cameroon Bar Association, Jackson Nikamga, withdrew from the race. Details with Babila Jonathan. Je voudrais prier le bureau de l'Assemblée Générale d'inviter la 16e personne. After the outgoing Bar Council President Barista Nye Kanga pulled out of the race to the presidency of the Bar Association, Barista Charles Chakute Patier was left alone. The election continued and at the end... I'm very humbled to have been elected this evening. It will be a very, very, very difficult task because commitments are enormous. I know lawyers are facing many, many, many problems. I released a manifesto which is the policy I intend to put in place. And I think if I've been, I've been elected this evening, it's because the lawyer has trusted that manifesto. These are the most trapped elections that ever took place in Cameroon because I made sure that all, at all levels, everything was transparent. First thing, the introduction, and I want to have a single ballot. It exists nowhere in Cameroon. It, nowhere. And I make sure that all the hours of attorney were validated for that to reduce fraud. And thirdly, and thirdly, the transparent ballot box. And many other things that I did, and I put people here and there to be vigilant, to watch out, to, to make sure that any attempt to fraud une nouvelle va s'ouvrir. Je voudrais compter sur vous pour construire un nouveau barreau. It is a new dawn, a new page of the Bar Association that has opened with a plethora of challenges. Je sais que les attentes sont nombreuses. Je voudrais assurer les avocats. The new Bar Council president takes the commitment to leave no stone unturned to put a smile on the faces of lawyers in Cameroon. Earlier, Barista Evaristus Mofo was elected president of the Bar General Assembly. He takes over from Tumfo Barista Nico Halle. And it should be noted that uh, Barrister Tumfo Nico Halle says he leaves the presidency of the Bar General Assembly, a blessed man of God, after doing his uh, a great job, uh, of course, uh, with high sense of commitment and equally success. I enjoy you to take a listen to him. I'm living a blessed son of God. Because when I had, <coughs> when I convened this General Assembly, I went on my knees. Knowing the stakes, knowing the terrain, knowing the services, knowing the conflict, and knowing the disorder, the anarchy, and the chaos that you know we have gone through these last two years. Asked myself whether I was going to work. So I asked God to be very honest with you. 
and I, I arranged it, I fixed it immediately. So whether I like it or not, and I want to congratulate all the lawyers, congratulate the team I work with, the organizing committee, impeccable. And I want to say the lawyers in Cameroon, it has been historic, this event. I want to thank God Almighty, and I thank you, the media, because you have been my partner for the last many years since I started doing a few things for the nation. And I pray that God should bless you and I bless all the lawyers and bless the Duke Batonye and bless all the members of the Bar Council and bless the new president of the Assembly who is replacing me and the vice. I will, I can assure you, I will stand by them, I will support them, I will advise them if and whenever it is possible. And coming in as a new bar council president, we're talking about Charles Chakunte Patier would not be uh, roses, uh, of course, uh, roses will not be all that rosy in the following report. And for me, Armstrong Sun has spoke to some lawyers who said the difficulties or challenges are just so enormous. His report. Legal minds have qualified the mandate awaiting the new bar association president as challenging given that the president-elect will have the task of maintaining equilibrium between the common law and the civil law systems in a society whose bi- or multiculturalism is threatened like never before. The new batonet should be ready to ensure that all the two legal systems, the two legal cultures are maintained so that we can have a peaceful coexistence with the civil law and the common law in Cameroon. The challenges awaiting the new batonier are both internal and external, and the new president will have to adopt strategies to defend the rights of lawyers who say their rights are being violated in Cameroon. La protection, ça se décline sur plusieurs aspects. That is lost security. Some lawyers say the Bar Association has lost its authority, especially on the Anglophone crisis, where they believe the association has been adamant. I thought that the Bar should be uh, the foremost organization that talks about human rights, that promotes human rights, that defends the citizens, that talks for the citizens. It is the voice of the voiceless, but it has not been uh, that easy for the past two or three years, particularly with the Anglophone question. And so the, we think that a new bar president who will be elected and his team hopefully will embrace these issues and address them accordingly. The bar must be seen always present and um, audible. You see, the bar has been let out of certain issues for a long time. We want to give back the bar and make the bar to be at the place where it should be. This group of lawyers therefore expect the new batonier to reawaken the Cameroon Bar Association and uphold its position as the number one human rights defender in the country and out of Cameroon. Some Mondia part hold that the new president should focus more on the degrading living condition and security of lawyers in Cameroon. We want the new baton who is coming in to be able to be ready to act when there is a situation when a fellow bar, I mean a, a lawyer, is involved in any problem. For a successful mandate. The new president should then focus on these and more for the Bar Association to rightfully occupy its position as the number one defender of human rights in and out of Cameroon. We now take you to the uh, Lembe Yazum community in the central region where the population laments over lack of uh, basic uh, good social amenities and of course one of them is lack of accessible roads 
most of the roads are seasonal and uh, become more problematic after rainfall as they become muddy and practically impossible. The people, mostly farmers, say they find it difficult to transport farm produce to vibrant commercial areas. Portable water is also absent with the inhabitants relying on water from doubtful sources. The council in its uh, budgetary session adopted a sum of over 700 million francs FA as its 2019 budget. Council authorities aim at investing the budget in the construction of hospitals, schools, boreholes, roads, bridges, markets, to mention but a few, to uh, eradicate the people suffering. The uh, mayor, Arben Kodo, wishes to see these projects fully executed for the living standards of the population to upgrade. And now we take you to the southwest region of Cameroon, where another Roman Catholic priest has been kidnapped. Reverend Father Jota Jos Lange, uh, it should be noted, was kidnapped by an unknown or unidentified gunman on his way to Moyenge in the southwest region. And it should be noted, uh, it was alongside Reverend Jason Placid Mutong and uh, Claritian student Abel Fonden with their driver, Reverend Father Juta Jos Lange. is a Catholic priest of the Claritian missionaries here in Cameroon. He is presently a consultor and a secretary of the Claritian missionaries. He is also formator of seminarians in Yaoundé. He had served as co-pastor in the Archdiocese of Douala and the prefect of students in the Cathedral School of Theology in Bonaberry. And the Presbyterian Church in Cameroon is stepping up efforts to improve that's on the living conditions of persons internally displaced by the Anglophone crisis, which is close to three years old today. And the women wing of the church, the Christian Women Fellowship CWF East Region or East Mungo South Presbytery has been providing financial material aids to tens of internally displaced persons in Douala. Over 50 of then all women have been trained in diverse walks of life in view of helping the internally displaced persons for five days they were equipped with skills that will enable them to be productive the training uh, entered the framework of the annual east mungo south presbytery rally which ended today at pc the panda here in Douala. and in the presence of moderator of the pcc the right reverend funky Foba. And the following excerpt will be listening to one of the members of the CWF who has equally been trained in that light to help internally displaced persons in Douala. Take a listen. Do what we call sustainable economy. Every woman is empowered so that she can be, uh, 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 um, she can develop skills and become an entrepreneur. With the displaced women, we support them financially, but then we also teach them a trade, do other things like tie and dye, liquid soap, um, oil, oil that's granite oil for cooking. We teach them how to catch a fish, and then from there they can help themselves. So we are speaking there to our reporter Matilda Kemazu. And now we now tell you how poor morals born by Cameroonian health personnel are reason for poor health care delivery. Reverend Dr. Zeteme made the revelation at the Diploma Award Ceremony at the Cameroon Baptist Convention Health Services in Mutengene. We have details with Derry Jato. Corruption has marked quality health care delivery in Cameroon and today critics are pointing out the consequences on the population because of the government failure to shape the character of our health personnel. We have said, we have heard pregnant women dying at that crucial moment of delivery, laboring, and whereby midwives and other health personnel have jumped out because there is no other than and he perishes. Reverend Dr. Titeme Charles Magne, during his sermon at a diploma award ceremony here at the Cameroon Baptist Convention Health Services Complex Mutengeni, called on the health personnel in Cameroon to desist from corruption. Graduating with diploma in HIV management, health and social system management, and palliative pediatric care, 
the institute representative dr jane frank nalubenga assured the population of proactive quality health care delivery satisfied professor t pius cbc health director said he is optimistic it is empowering the trainees to be solution oriented and to be change agents we want them to be able to diagnose the problems of our health system do evaluation and be able to propose solutions the population hope these graduates will come into the society and bring change and not to be changed like others and in sports, the indomitable Leonetis of Cameroon, uh, it should be noted, will play in the semi finals of the 2018 Afghan Women's Championship ongoing in Ghana. Uh, of course, that will be on Tuesday, November 27. Cameroon's indomitable Leonetis topping Group A face the champions. Uh, Super Falcons of Nigeria, who are second in Group B, Mali, second in Group A, takes on South Africa as uh, first in Group B. The indomitable Leonesses will qualify for the 2019 World Women Championship should they defeat Nigeria at the 2018 Women AFCON. That will be the semi finals. And of course, last year Nigeria defeated the Leonesses. At the final, many Cameroonians believe this is revenge time for the indomitable Leonesses against the Super Falcons of Nigeria, who snatched the Afcon title they hosted last year. And that's it for this edition of the 8 p.m. Balingua Newscast on Equinox Television. Thanks so much for watching. We do wish you a splendid night. Flavien Balandongo, bonsoir à vous. Bonsoir, bonsoir à nos chers téléspectateurs. Demain, 7h, rendez-vous avec l'actualité sur Equinox. Bonsoir à tous.